Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and this is Ravin Jangad here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the average DC voltage waveform. So let's start with the, the DC average DC voltage. So when we talk about the average DC voltage, then we have considered the average of the VPN, the three VPNs, because VAB, VBC and VCA, if I am taking the average of that, that will be the resultant of R. So let us consider, let us consider, we are operating, we are operating with the two switches and these two switches are, I can take the switch number two, switch number two and the switch number so if we are taking the switch number 2 and the switch number 3 then we can operate with the VAB voltage what we can operate VBA voltage so in the last lecture we have discussed this that is the VAB it is written here VAB so if we are operating the conducting walls are actually the 2 and 3 it means if we are taking the conducting walls as wall number 2 and the wall number 3 then that DC voltage is going to be root 2 ELL sin omega t plus 60 degree okay so if we are operating 3 and 4 then this this so we are considering only the wall number 2 and 3 then this is the going to be the dc voltage that is the root 2 ell sin omega t plus 60 degree so this is i am considering so i will take the eba because it is the minus 1 if you are taking the voltage across wall 1 so now we are considering as a vba so that will be the positive sign so uh, please remember this root 2 ELL sin omega t plus 60. Now, so if we talk about the average, uh, if so if we talk about the average DC voltage, then I can write that is actually represented by the VD. So whenever we will talk about the average DC voltage, that is actually the VD and that is represented by the 3 upon pi. This is the 3 upon pi. That is a 1 upon t. Actually, the average is found out 1 upon t and that time period is actually the uh, 60 degree. That's why I have written 1 upon pi by 3. That is the 60 degree. Okay. So now, so that integration is from alpha to alpha plus 60 degree. And this is the, that voltage we have, uh, I have told you that is the VBA. So I can write that EBA is equal to EB minus EA and which is a uh, root 2 ELL sin omega t okay sin omega t that we are going to consider here so if we uh, integrate so if we integrate sin omega t though, so after the simplification so after the simplification we are getting 3 upon pi root 2 ELL and uh, this is the root 2 ELL is actually a constant so it is so it will be come out of this and after the integration and while putting this value after the whole simplification after the complete simplification now we are going to get this equation and that you have to remember and that is actually vd is equal to 3 root 2 ell that is cos alpha that is cos alpha and that can be written as after the simplification 3 root 2 upon pi after the simplification of 3 root 2 upon pi, I can write the 1.35 and ultimately it is written as 1.35 ELL that is the cos alpha. And that is 3 root 2 upon pi into ELL is actually the VD naught, is actually the VD naught. Okay, and that we have discussed in the last lecture. So I can write as the alpha varies, alpha it means the firing angle. If the firing angle, if there is a firing angle variation, then VD is actually varying. VD is also varying. Why the VD is actually varying? VD no, uh, VD naught is actually the maximum value. Okay. So why VD is uh, varying? Because it is a function of alpha. So if it is a function of alpha, so it will vary as the alpha will vary. So if we have alpha from 0 to 180 degree, if we have the alpha from 0 to 180 degree, then that VD is uh, op uh, will operate from VD naught to minus VD naught. So that VD will operate from VD naught to minus VD. It means it is going to be from positive to negative value. From 
positive to negative value okay that you have to remember so this point this this point is actually going to say if there is a variation of alpha according to that vd will vary because the formula of vd is equal to the vd naught cos alpha and what is the vd naught that is the maximum value 3 root 2 upon pi that is ell 3 root 2 upon pi ell so that converter will behave differently that converter will behave differently why that will behave differently if you talk about the converter so that converter is can operate as a rectifier and can also operate as an inverter and that only depends on the value of alpha and uh, variation of alpha from variation of alpha we are getting the vd not value if that vd is actually going to be positive if vd is going to be positive then it it will operate as a rectifier and if the vd not is going to be negative then this going to be operate as an inverter so that we have to remember the converter can operate as a rectifier also and as the inverter also and that is actually depending on the plus and minus value now if you talk about the dc voltage harmonics so in every conversion if we are talking about the from ac to dc okay so uh, in ac to dc there will be a conversion then it is uh, due to the rectif rectification and after the rectification there will be some pulsations and these pulsations are uh, called as the harmonics and these are un, uh, disadvantages for our waveforms okay so if we talk about the dc voltage if we talk about the dc voltage waveform that contains the ripples and that is actually our harmonics that is actually harmonics so if we talk about the ripples okay in the rectifier process if there is a ac wave then after the output after the rectification there it should be like this but it is not a constant value it is uh, it is having some small pulsations which can be seen here these are called the ripples or you can say the harmonics and that we are going to st study or analyze the formula of that if we analyze using the Fab Fourier series so analysis of the Fourier series why we are doing the analysis using the Fourier series because because the Fourier series is that if there is any uh, function or uh, you can say the harmonic and that can be represented using the Fourier and these uh, this formula Fourier series and this formula contains a naught plus a n cos omega t plus b n sin omega t and will have the sigma value here so they can be distributed or they can be written in trigonometric form as a cos and the sine okay so harmonics uh, one second this is the harmonic of order ha harmonic of order 6n so uh, remember please remember that h is represented by harmonic and that is equal to 6n and what is n it is actually integer this is actually integer and that that h is representing harmonic value so uh, the point number second is completed now we will move for the harmonic uh, harmonic is actually the rms value why because it is having the pulsations and that pulsation can uh, you can relate with the ac so harmonic which is represented by the ac value which is represented by the rms value in the dc voltage is given by vh that you have to remember and its formula is root inside the root an square plus bn square upon root 2 an square plus bn square upon root 2 if you talk about the an and bn formula that is uh, uh, we have studied in the engineering mathematics that is 1 upon pi from alpha to alpha plus 2 pi vd cos h theta d theta and accordingly we will operate bn is equal to 1 upon pi alpha to alpha plus 2 pi and vd sin h theta d theta and after the simplification of this we will get vd naught okay maximum value that we have already discussed in uh, this one that is 3 root 2 upon pi ell what is the ell this is the line to line voltage now so vd naught root 2 h square minus 1 and that will be 1 plus h square minus 1 sine square alpha so this formula you have to remember and that is that contains the value of h 
okay so uh, up to this this is this formula the derivation is not uh, asked in your academics anywhere so you have to remember because the numericals may be found from this only the formula analysis you have to remember now so if we talk about the wall voltage waveform what is the wall voltage waveform and what is it is depicting so if you talk about the first point so it is saying that so it is saying that it can be obtained by considering from expression of the voltages so that voltage we have already uh, discussed in this table this so this is actually the conducting walls and according to the voltage across the wall number one and that is actually given here okay that we are going to discuss in this uh, this slide so it can be obtained by considering from the expression of the voltage the second point is the voltage jumps are all of the magnitude all of the same magnitude all having the same magnitude and that is the voltage jump here yeah, the voltage jump is represented by the vj and this is actually root 2 ell sin alpha and alpha is your firing angle so ultimately it can be represented as pi by 3 v d naught sin alpha and we have to remember this uh, point voltage jump contribute to the voltage stress and what is the voltage stress voltage jump contribute to if we talk about the voltage jump that is directly related with the voltage stress okay and what is the voltage stress that is the dv by dt and across the wall so each and every wall there is if there is a voltage jump that will contribute to the voltage stress and that voltage stress is represented by dv by dt okay now the next point the wall damping is provided to relieve these stress if you want to release these stresses like that is due to the voltage jump or you can say the voltage stress then we are using the valve damping we are using valve damping and firing angle is provided with the minimum and maximum limit so the alpha will have the some minimum and maximum limit so what will be the its minimum limit and what will be the its maximum limit minimum limit it means uh, it can be at least it should be a 5 degree it should be a 5 degree a degree and maximum it can operate up to the 180 degree so this is the maximum so alpha has the some range of operation from zero so it is not operating from zero degree it at least it should operate from the five degree and maximum it can operate up to the 180 degree and if you talk about the next point then it cannot go beyond the 180 degree minus alpha um, 180 degree minus gamma and that gamma is called extinction angle extinction angle that we have studied in the power electronics already and i will discuss in the further slides so i hope up to this point you have understood and if we talk about uh, the waveform of this then according to that these waveforms are drawn and you can clearly uh, look at this if we are moving if we are operating from a uh, firing angle from alpha equal to 0 to 90 degree and this, this will have the more pulsation and as the pulsation will increase then the average dc voltage are going to be decreased but when we are operating from 90 degree to 180 degree then you you can clearly see uh, see here the pulsations are reducing if the pulsation are reducing the average dc voltage are going to be increased here so this is the basic point i have discussed here i hope you have understood so tata bye bye thank you